this 100-ton contraption may help funnel out oil spewing from the bottom of the sea. The hopes of the Gulf Coast riding on this mass of steel and concrete. A supply boat set out from Louisiana, heading for the site of that leak caused by the explosion of the Deepwater Horizon, an offshore oil platform. Once there, cranes will lift the containment box into the water, lowering it 5,000 feet to the seabed. It will then funnel oil into a tanker, but using such an oil capping dome has never been tried at this depth. We continue to do everything that we can uh, to make sure that the responsible party here, BP, is uh, doing uh, what uh, BP is required to do uh, under the law and under what the company has uh, agreed that it will do. The box may be the best short-term solution to bottling up the oil spill, threatening sea life and livelihoods along the coast. Where the oil will come ashore has people anxious here. It's about the people of Louisiana doing everything we can to protect our coast, keep this oil out of our fragile wetlands, to protect our way of life down here. Oil is close to the Mississippi Delta and the Chandelure Islands off the coast of Louisiana. It may also be drifting south into the loop current. Scientists say this could take it toward the Florida Keys. In a worst case scenario, oil company BP is telling the government 2.5 million gallons a day could spill. So far, some 210,000 gallons of crude has spewed into the Gulf each day for the last two weeks. Here along the Gulf in Alabama, the operation going on out at the spill site is critical. Authorities say they've done everything they can to try to protect this fragile coastline, but they don't even know how much damage the oil already in the water could do. It would be much worse if that well can't be capped soon. Jason Bronis, The Associated Press. Dolphin Island, Alabama.